Man, chosen people have a look, yo. Let me use an example of uh, American election, both 2008 and 2016. I think it's a story that everybody can understand what I'm talking about. Not unless you're six. <laughs> In this case, if you're six or seven, I don't think you should be watching this video. But hey, since you're here, enter at your own risk, guys. You know, the reason why I say this, guys, in both elections, the candidates have been overlooked. One of the first one is like there's never been a candidate like him, which is an African-American to be the, uh, the U.S. president. The second one is he's not presiden presidential, Trump. <laughs> he doesn't behave like a president. He doesn't act like a president and he doesn't talk like a president. The people overlooked those two candidates and, and they said that would never happen. But it did happen. You know what I'm saying? Guys, just like those two candidates, chosen people are overlooked in life. Let me tell you something. Especially at the beginning of your life, you're going to be overlooked by people close to you. Now, that might be a different reason why they do that, but they do overlook you. Even you, you'll overlook yourself when you are becoming to who you're the person that you're meant to be, guys. Really, chosen people are always overlooked in their lives. But one day, they will surprise everyone. People will be like, man, how did you make it all the way here? How? You? You made it? How did this happen? Because you're the chosen one, guys. Oh. Hello, beautiful people of the world. This is Alula, and welcome to Awaken the Ego Within. Like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Guys, today I want to talk about reasons why the chosen people are overlooked in life. Overlooked in everything that they do, guys. That is before they shock everybody and show their real colors to the, to the world, to the people who can see them, then people will know that they're chosen. But before that, they'll be overlooked. They even overlook themselves before they become, or before they become aware of who they really are. You know? I made a video yesterday called The Chosen One Are Traumatized. And in that video, I made a reference that the spirits of the gods, they qualify the unqualified people and get them ready for the task ahead. This is the first reason why you are overlooked, guys. Because you are a legend in the making. You are in the oven, guys. You are cooking. <laughs> And you're not ready yet. This is why people that don't know you overlook you. Because you haven't become, or you haven't, you, you didn't awake to yourself just yet. You are in the process of awakening. Awakening from this illusion. Awakening from this matrix. So when people see you, they just see you as another person. But they don't know that you're chosen. But you, you know you're chosen. You understand what I'm saying? You begin to believe in yourself before anybody believes in you guys. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the characteristics of the chosen people. The chosen people are always optimistic. It is who they are. It's who their spirits are. Amongst, I mean, through adversity and through all these challenges, the chosen people, they keep believing them in themselves. And they keep on really showing the world who they are in their own way. But society will overlook them. That is before they come up or they show the world or they wake up to who they really are, guys. Now, the society would overlook the chosen people because they don't know them and because the chosen people have not woken up to themselves. But the people that know the chosen ones from the beginning, 
they overlook them for different reasons, guys. Mostly because of jealousy. You see, the thing is like this, guys. When you're chosen, you begin to show people that you're chosen in the little things that you do. You understand what I'm saying? And people that are in your family, people that are in your friends, people that know you, they begin to notice this and they begin to overlook you in a way that is because of the jealous of you. Because they know what you're capable of. You know what I'm saying? Man, people who are close to you will be your worst enemy when you're chosen. Let me tell you something. Because these are people that will see your um, potential capabilities be before you even know your own. So those people will make it their life mission in order for them to stop you to becoming your own, to becoming the person that you're created to be. But that will never succeed. That will never happen because you're chosen. You will get to do the things you're going to do regardless of who is against you. You will begin to do things regardless of the situation that you face, guys. At the end, you're going to be victorious. But those people, they will try to stop you, but they will not succeed, guys. You understand what I'm saying? The people will be, the most people that will be against you is the people that know you. Let me tell you something. You know what I mean? You can't really blame the people that you don't know because they don't know you. And they haven't seen your capabilities. But as far as the people that know you, the people that you grow up with, man, those people will be your worst enemy. Especially since you're chosen, now you're born in demonic families. You're born with people, you're born amongst people who are operating in the lowest energy. Those people, man, will become your worst enemy. They will begin to really abuse you. They'll begin to, man, they'll, they'll do everything in their power in order for them to stop you. But guess what? They won't succeed. Another reason why people will overlook you guys is because of how you think. It's because of your mind, guys. You're the chosen one, so you think differently. The chosen people see opportunities when there's no opportunity. <laughs> because that is your nature. You're a creator. And when regular people see this, they'll be like, man, what the hell are you smoking? <laughs> what the hell are you on? Because they simply cannot see how you be able to do things when there's really nothing. The chosen people are always looking what could be rather than what is. And that is one of the characteristics of being chosen because being able to see things before the thing is, that is one of the most powerful ways of being chosen, guys. That's one of the most powerful characters. And now when you begin to share these things with people who are living in the lowest energy, people will overlook you. They'll say, man, this person is mad. This person is... <laughs> They'll be like, this person is crazy. You know, and people will tell you that, man, I've never heard anybody say things that you say. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're the chosen one. People don't really come across people like you that often. You know what I mean? So when they see you or when they hear you talking about things that are not there and then you're talking about bringing things into existence, people will they'll overlook you. They're like, nah, it ain't going to happen. They'll be like, it will never work. But you know it will happen. Because you've already seen it in your mind. Because, guys, as a chosen one, you know that you are creator in your own right. You know that you have the power to bring things into existence. Because you're the chosen one. But no more people will know things so, guys. That's why you're going to find it hard, especially at the beginning of your career or at the beginning of when you're going to get to do what you're going to do. You're going to be met with a lot of opposition.
you're going to be met with a lot of people that would not believe in what things that you're about to do because first it's never been done before second this idea has never been heard and third other people cannot see how it's going to be possible but you know it's possible because your life has been just glimpses now you've been seeing yourself in glimpses for a very long time now and that is your spirit guides telling you communicating with you man and showing you your future and showing you who you really are you understand what i'm saying that is one of the reasons why you be overlooked but that is just before you get to do what you're doing that's because they did not see you are your highest yet but once they get to see you guys uh, are you highest one they get to see you doing the things that you do once they see you bring things in, into existence then they will know you're the chosen one people will overlook you because first thing let me tell you something at the beginning guys you're going to be running away from your calling as a chosen one especially in your younger years because you're talented in a way that the things that you're calling or the things that is in your purpose it's so easy for you you don't even look at it as if it was a career <laughs> you understand what i'm saying for you it'll be so easy to do but for other people it'll be hard because that is your talent and so since that is your talent it, and it comes so easy for you you don't think of it as man this is my calling this is my purpose you know what i mean because it's so easy and also at the beginning of your life you might buy into the idea of the society that tells you man as like hey we are meant to struggle in life nothing is meant to be we have to sweat you know what i mean that is for people who don't know their purpose that's the people who don't know who they are but guys as a chosen person once you wake up to who you are and that's when you know who you are you're gonna have an easy life because you're gonna use your talent for your work which means that things that you do will be very easy for you because that's what your talent is you know what i'm saying guys oh shit that sunlight just comes at the right time <laughs> you know what i mean i'm really made for the sun y'all like when it's sunny i feel so happy and i feel more of myself anyway let's keep on going yeah guys so your talent will be so easy for you some of you might be a musician you can write a song in like 10 minutes while the people who are not talented they'll be like how did you do that that is so hard but that is your talent guys so since it becomes so easy for you you run away from your purpose you even neglect it and now you begin to do other things that's not your talent and since you don't have any talent you're not going to be good at that thing so that's why people who see you do that thing will overlook you because you're not in your path yet you're not on your purpose yet you're not in the lane that you're supposed to be you're not in, in a place where you're born for guys that is because you are still cooking in the oven <laughs> you are still in the making guys so this is one of the, the reasons why people overlook you you know what i'm saying as a chosen one people will overlook you but don't worry about it because you know you're gonna be great you know that you are seeing the vision of your life in glimpses that is your confirmation man that is your spirit telling you that it will happen because once you're gonna do you're gonna circle and circle and come back to your purpose guys <laughs> that's what's gonna happen because your talent is your purpose this is what will make you known this is what will set you free this is what will make you escape from the rat race that is your talent that is what you came with and since you're running away from that and you're not in that then you cannot be good at other things this is why you've been overlooked by people because you're not in your lane guys anyway thank you so much for watching another video for my chosen ones my chosen ones the special people man really 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 you know what i mean and guys by the way we're back in lockdown once more this is the sixth <laughs> lockdown in melbourne australia and this time is for a week let's see how it goes anyway thanks guys like this video subscribe uh until the next video god bless you and take care
day one of a lockdown, the sixth lockdown. Let's see how this lockdown is gonna go. All right, bye guys.